Hey folks, Gary here with Paramount Tactical Solutions, your source for guns, gear, training tactics, all brought to you by Real World Experience. So if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that we've done several videos and reviews on the Masterpiece Arms PMR Pro 2, and I love this rifle. Uh, this is my personal rifle, and it is by far the best rifle that I've ever owned. I absolutely love it. There's only been one kind of sticking issue or problem that I've had with it the entire time that's bugged me. And I've been trying to find solution after going through many different products. I definitely found the best solution for that. And, and the problem that I'm having is this back here. All right, Th this cheek rest. Folks, after you're laying on that for a few minutes, it is not comfortable and it really starts to bug you. The next thing you know, you're kind of wiggling around. And, and folks, when you are not comfortable on your rifle, it has such, it has, we take for granted if we're not setting up our rifle properly and you're not comfortable on that rifle, I'm telling you folks, you don't even realize what a negative impact that it's having on your shooting, pun intended right there. The more time that you spend making sure that your length of pull is perfectly set up and that your cheek riser is at the perfectly right height so that you're in line with that optic and that you're comfortable on this, folks, the more time you spend on doing that, it's always time well spent and the tighter your groups are going to get. You've got to be comfortable and you've got to make sure that the interface between the gun and you is perfect and it's set up perfectly to you and you're comfortable. So again, I've, I've had some issues with this and it hasn't been comfortable. And every time I'm down there, and especially when I'm doing grouping drills, folks, which, you know, it's always good to spend a lot of time doing some grouping drills, grouping drills in different positions, tell you everything that you need to know about your fundamentals in that particular position. So spend some time doing grouping drills. But while I'm doing grouping drills, after a while, and I'm trying to stay on that gun, stay attached to it, again, I start to I start to feel that discomfort just because we have a very small amount of surface area back here, and you know it's not very well padded. And after a lot of product research, folks, I found a solution to that problem. These are the WeBad Mini Stock Pads. Uh, they're available on our website right now. Go to ParamountTactical.com, or there are links down below. Uh, but these are available for not only the MPA, but many different guns and chassis and stocks that you can put these on. So they're also available in several different colors. But these are American made, made out of very nice materials, very well constructed. We'll go over some of those features in a second. And we could end the video just right there. But I also want to show you a couple things that I did to mine that I suggest to basically uh, kind of improve the comfort overall, but also improve the fit. And we'll talk about that. But I do want to talk about a couple of other problems that this solves that are inherent to synthetic stocks and chassis. The other thing that this does that I think is really important is if you're ever shooting in the cold, folks, when you're putting your face on that synthetic cheek riser or stock, if you've done it before, you know, it sucks. And there again, you're sitting there trying to get from that away from that cold piece of basically plastic and you know, you're squirming around. And folks, every time that you're squirming around, you're changing your point of impact. It's just a fact. The other problem that it solves that happens to me all the time shooting on different mini stocks and chassis is pulling out my freaking beard hair, right? A good example of that is that PRS stock over there. Oftentimes when I'm getting settled on a stock and I go to shoot and then, you know, it recoils a little bit. Next thing I know, you know, my beard hair has kind of got stuck in some crevices and in the recoil process, it's yanking out hairs and it sucks, right? So this will make sure that that doesn't happen as well. So it solves several different problems, most of those comfort related, and the more comfortable you are behind the gun, the more accurate you're gonna be. It's just a fact. All right, so you know, right out of the package, these things fit and, and work just fine. Uh, I'm gonna show you some very minor modifications that I made to mine to make it fit a little bit better, to be a little bit more comfortable and just kind of fit my taste a little more. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. But before we do that, folks, if you enjoy content like this and you enjoy content that you can trust delivered by people with real world experience, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, throw a comment down below. I really appreciate that. And if you're not already, make sure you follow us on our other social media sites. We do a lot of cool things on those platforms as well. And every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time, right here on this YouTube channel, we have our live Dangerous Liberty podcast we talk about many different topics, guns, gear, politics, everything else. We have special guests on all the time. And all throughout that, you get to interact with us live, ask questions, and it's a lot of fun. So make sure you join us Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Good times. All right. So enough of the self-promotion. Let's talk about the modifications that I made. So this is how it comes. Again, extremely well made. Um, kind of like a, I don't know, a felt or a velvety kind of top right here that's nice and padded. On the other side of this, you almost have like a grip tape that's going to make sure that it stays in place. And of course we have Velcro closures. 
Um, and then on the back here, we have this WeBad tag, and I wanna show you mine. So this is the one that I modified, and I just made it fit a little bit tighter. And what I did was basically just cut those Velcro closures. They were a little bit too long, and it just allowed me to get this nice and tight on there and make sure that it was installed properly. And for those of you with the MPA, if you go to put your cheek riser back on and you don't know what direction it's supposed to go this way or that way, folks, this cutout goes toward the bolt. So this is the front and then this is the back. Also, the cheek pad itself is directional. You'll notice up here at the front, so that it allows it to kind of forward set a little bit, there is a cutout there for that post. So that goes to the front as well. But with those very minor modifications, I was able to get it nice and tight. The other thing that I wasn't a big fan of was, you know, this, that wee bad tag. I, I'm, I love branding just like the next guy, but that was a little too much for me. Um, so I ended up taking that off. So let me show you what this looks like with it not modified. And then there again, you can kind of determine ahead of time uh, whether or not it's something that you want to do because it is perfectly acceptable the way that it is. One thing I definitely noticed and had it installed a day or so is that it really formed itself around this and it just really fits it really well. When you first get it, it's a little stiff, um, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Especially for right-handed shooters, it, it probably won't matter, but we have these tabs over here and that just bugged me. So I'll show you what I did real quick. And the first thing that I did was open this up and determine where this needed to be cut. So I cut these inside tabs first. It's got a nice, good, sharp pair of scissors. And by the way, this is a cheek riser off a gun that just came in. We're getting ready to ship it out to a client's FFL. So if your name is Chris L and you ordered a PMR Pro 2 and FDE, you're gonna get this installed for free when it arrives. Uh, you're welcome. And folks, you know, that's just another reason to do your shopping with us. Anytime that we get an opportunity to give back to you, we do. So we appreciate the support and Chris, we appreciate your business. All right, so again, we're going to measure these just real quick. We're gonna eyeball these and make sure that we cut them at the right length. We'll make sure that one's cut to the right length. That one's All right, so this is the end product right here. It's nice and tight. There's no overlap on the inside or the outside. Now, I didn't like this, this branding, so we're gonna go ahead and cut that off and then so again, with scissors, all I did was lay this flat, get it as close as I could to the material without cutting it. Now, don't call me up, one, don't call me up wanting a refund because you actually cut something too short, or whatever else, all right? This is, there's my disclaimer. If you end up cutting something too short or messing your gear up, uh, don't call me up asking me if you can exchange it. So just be careful and take your time if you decide to do this. Doesn't even have to be done, but again, you know, I like uh, I like my gear looking the way I want it looking. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go along this. And remember, if you set yourself on fire, stop, drop, and roll. Always a good, good thing to remember. <sighs> All right, so now we don't end up having this tail flapping in the wind. So this is the front. We're just gonna place that right there in the middle. Get that nice and tight as possible. Roll that over. All right, so now that's what we end up with. A nice cheek rest. It's on there nice and tight. It's form fitting. It looks clean. It doesn't have a bunch of tags hanging off of it. That's how I want it. Let's take a look at what it looks like on the gun itself. All right, so we're gonna show you what that looks like installed, but I did wanna show you the other colors that are available. We have black right here. We have camouflage, OD or Ranger Green, and then FTE or Coyote. I'm not sure which what they call that, I think FTE. But those are the four colors that those come in. Um, of course, black's gonna go with everything. And here you can see it installed, folks. It's soft, it's nice, it's so much more comfortable. It doesn't interfere with anything or any controls or anything like that. And I'm telling you folks, this will make your shooting experience so much better. Uh, being comfortable, I'm telling you, will result in much smaller groups. Take the time to set your gun up, folks. Make sure you have the perfect length of pull. Make sure that cheek riser is the perfect height. And even back here at the recoil pad, folks, you can adjust the cant angle to that. So whether you have an MPA or other type gun, make sure you're taking the time 
to set all that up so that it's perfect. And, and I'm telling you, it'll pay you a lot of dividends. The other thing I wanna make you aware of is we just launched our virtual Paramount Training Academy. Folks, if you're serious about improving your skill set when it comes to handgun, carbine, or long range, and you want real training with real results, down in the description below, there's a link to a video. It tells you all about it. Or you can just go to Patreon, Paramount Tactical Solutions, watch that video. Not only are you gonna get real training, but you're also gonna get a lot of other benefits through us so go check that out. It's more than worth your time. And folks, I hope this was helpful. I hope this was informative. I'm sure I left some things out or didn't answer some questions you wanted answered. So make sure you leave those down below. And you know, while guns and gear is great, what we're really about is training. So make sure you go to ParamountTactical.com. Go check out our upcoming training schedule. We'd love to have you out. We'd love to meet you in person. Also go check out our virtual training academy. I guarantee you, you'll enjoy that. But until next time, stay armed, stay ready. We'll talk to you soon. I'm